Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehome.com, where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies, and where we also provide tailor-made solutions for hospitals and intensive care units. Whilst providing quality care services for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies, also otherwise medically complex adults and children at home, including home BiPAP, home CPAP, home tracheostomy care when adults and children are not ventilated. We also provide home TPN, which is IV nutrition. We also provide IV potassium, IV magnesium infusions at home, as well as IV antibiotics at home. We also provide port management, central line management, peak line management, Hickman's line management, as well as palliative care services at home. It also includes ventilation weaning at home. We have also provided an emergency department bypass bypass service for the Western Sydney local area health district and uh, where we send our critical care nurses into the home to prevent emergency department admissions. Now, today I have a question from Jerry and Jerry says, hi, Patrick. My dad is 60 years, 68 years old and he has been in ICU for eight days now. He has been having motor neuron disease for the last 10 months. He now developed sepsis and was hospitalized for the second time after four months. He has a PEC tube, but his large, in, large intestine was not getting enough oxygen and he had an internal ischemia. Part of his large intestine was removed. They did a colostomy procedure on him. He was in a medically induced coma for the last four days during these procedures. They did a CT scan of the abdomen to discover why there is not enough oxygen. Because of the MND, he can't talk, walk, or swallow. His breathing and oxygen were not at the safest numbers, so he was intubated on a ventilator again yesterday. He's on 55 to 60% FiO2 or oxygen on the ventilator. The GI doctor wants to strongly recommend taking him off life support. It's only been eight days so far. He is intubated with no sedation. The nurses are saying he is weak, but still he's tolerating the intubation with just pain medications. And he's drowsy and opens his eyes. What can we do? Well, that's a great question, Jerry. And um, we have seen this situation many times. So, for example, um, one solution for your dad might be a tracheostomy and then go home with intensive care at home. So let me elaborate on this in more detail, right? So we are looking, we are currently looking after clients at home with MND, modern neuron disease that are ventilated and have a tracheostomy and that is their choice. They do want to live. Some MND clients or MND patients for that matter, they get diagnosed with MND and then they, um, don't get a tracheostomy, although they don't want a tracheostomy, they go on BiPAP, you know, and eventually BiPAP can be removed and they can pass away if that's what they want. But many MND clients don't want that. They want to live and they want a tracheostomy and they want to spend quality time with their family, which is an option for your dad in this situation as well. You know, again, some hospitals, they don't even know that intensive care at home exists and that Intensive care at home is definitely an option for MND clients who want to have a tracheostomy and want to be ventilated, right? And uh, some of our clients that have been at home or are at home on MND, they report to have a good quality of life. And like I said, they do want to leave. So, you know, the notion uh, from the hospital to take him off life support, I, be I believe, comes from a place of not being informed what is available in the community. Um, if that is what your dad uh, wants. Now, the question here is, does your dad have an advanced care plan, right? Would be very important to find out if your dad has an advanced care plan that states what he wants. You know, an advanced care plan is a legally binding document. And if your dad wants to have a tracheostomy and a ventilator, then he should be allowed to have that. Um, it is very unlikely in this situation that your dad will come off the ventilator and the breathing tube. It is very unlikely, I would say, given the progressive nature of MND. It is also very likely that if he does get ext extubated and put on BiPAP, that he will end up with an aspiration pneumonia. 
many MND patients that end up with a tracheostomy actually end up there because they are on BiPAP and they then have an aspiration pneumonia and therefore they uh, get intubated like your dad did in this situation. And now it's crucial to take the right next step. That is the next step, what your dad and your family wants. You know, if your dad does not want to continue treatment, then that is, is his choice and that should be respected. If your dad does want to continue treatment and does want to have a tracheostomy, then that is what should be respected as well. And there is a solution on the other end, right? So, and that is where intensive care at home comes in, um, you know, with home care. And there is a model in there because, you know, an intensive care bed costs around five to $6,000 per bed day and um, intensive care at home costs around 50% of that. So there's a business model in there. There's economical sense in what we are providing. You know, there's also uh, that hospitals need the ICU bed. The ICU bed is the most highly sought after bed in, uh, in a hospital. And ICU staff, doctors, nurses, physios are some of the most highly sought after people within the healthcare industry. So it makes perfect sense that intensive care at home is a viable option for everyone. It's a win-win situation. We improve the quality of life for patients and their families. We also improve the economics of health funding agencies and we improve the bed status of intensive care units because um, intensive care beds are so highly sought after. Now, I hope that answers your question, Jerry, what to do next with your dad. With intensive care at home, we are currently operating all around Australia in all major capital cities, as well as in regional and rural areas. We are an NDIS approved service provider all around Australia. We are TAC approved uh, service provider and WorkSafe approved service provider in Victoria, ICANN New South Wales, NIISQ in Queensland, as well as DVA approved service provider all around Australia. We have also received funding through public hospitals, departments of health, as well as private health funds. So reach out to us if you need help and you can reach out to us at intensivecareathome.com. Call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or send us an email to info at intensivecareathome.com. And like I mentioned, we are sending our critical care nurses into the home for predominantly long-term ventilation and tracheostomy, but also we send them into the home to keep emergency departments empty and for patients to bypass emergency departments. Like I said, we have done that successfully for the Western Sydney Local Area Health District, and we have um, bypassed some of their patients out of ED. Now, if you are in intensive care or if you have a family member in intensive care, you know, and you're watching this, I encourage you to reach out to us if you are thinking of going home for, for the situations that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. If you are an NDI support coordinator and you're looking for nursing care for your participants or for more funding because you don't know how to advocate for nursing care, please reach out to us as well. We can also help you with a specialist NDIS nursing assessment. We are also providing level two and level three NDIS support coordination in-house so if you need to get on the NDIS or if you um, need an NDIS level two or level three NDIS support coordinator, please reach out to us as well. We can help you with that. And if you are a critical care nurse and you're looking for a career change, we want to hear from you as well. If you have worked for a minimum of two years in critical care, ICU, pa pediatric ICU, OED, emergency department, and if you ideally have completed a postgraduate critical care qualification. We currently have jobs in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Albury, Wodonga in Bendigo, which is in country Victoria, as well as in Warrigal in country Victoria. We want to hear from you. We also uh, looking, we are looking for intensive care nurses or critical care nurses that want to complement our team. People who are team players and people who are looking for regular work. We are a service provider with a tailor-made solution for our clients and we are not an agency. We actually pride ourselves to providing this tailor-made solution to our clients. So if you're looking for agency work and you want to come and go, please do not apply, only apply if you're serious, if you want to make a difference to our client's life, if you want regular work, if you are reliable. And 
that includes working with our clients on a regular basis. And if you are an intensive care specialist, we are currently expanding our medical team as well. We want to hear from you if you're an intensive care specialist. And if you have bed blocks in your ICU, I encourage you to reach out to us as well. We can help you eliminate your bed blocks, but more importantly, we can improve the quality of life and in some instances, quality of end of life for your patients and their families, and you won't even pay for it. And if you're a hospital executive watching this, we also want to hear from you because, again, we can help you eliminate bed blocks in ICU and ED. And if you are in the US or in the UK and you need help, please reach out to us as well. We can help you there privately. Once again, our website is intensivecarethome.com. Call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or send us an email to info at intensivecarethome.com. And if you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for intensive care at home, but also for families in intensive care. Click the like button, click the notification bell, share the video with your friends and families and comment below what you want to see next, what questions and insights you have. I also do a weekly YouTube live where you can ask me questions on a live show. Thank you so much for watching. And subscribe to my YouTube channel as well so you get the notification when I do the YouTube lives. Thanks for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehome.com and I will talk to you in a few days. Take care for now.